guys, T-Rex back again, and today we're playing more Jurassic World Primal Ops. We're going to start off with a Styracosaurus crate. We need about 9 more DNA, so hopefully we get 10 and unlock it. What do we get? Fingers crossed. Yes, we get a 10, so we've unlocked the dinosaur. Let's take a look. Come on, continue. Collect. Come on, let's see what it looks like. New dinosaur rescued. Come on. It's green and very small. I thought it would be a bit bigger than that, but that's fine. We've unlocked a brand new dinosaur. Let's go level it up. So we go to dinosaurs, let's find out where it is, it's going to be pretty low down, probably, oh, it's not even our worst. I still don't get what's wrong with Zungaripterus, like, it's the worst dinosaur, but it's like rank, well, level 20, it's rank 3 or 4. I really don't get what's up with this, I think the game, the, this dinosaur may have some issues, because if you look at the rank up price, it's very expensive. Also, yeah, I've spent some money on upgrading my handler, it was just too low level, so I needed to upgrade it. Anyway, let's check out... Styracosaurus. Ooh, that's tiny. Can we compare it to another Ceratopsid? Well, Ceratopsian. There you go. Aduceratops is massive. Maybe they just need the camera to zoom in a little. I think that's the issue. Or they need to scale it up. Or maybe they actually do it to scale. It just seems a bit weird. What? Oh, well, then again, Pachyrannosaurus is tiny and Cyanoceratops is actually big. Maybe they're just real life sizes, and I, uh, if they are, I'm not, that's not too bad, is it? Not really, but it does look weird being small. The, you might as well zoom in the camera a little or something like that. But anyway, 448 damage, stamina 114. Its attack is Stampede, doing 11 damage, not very good. 100% against Kozlov. Applies pushback on hit, of course, the same as every Ceratopsian pretty much. And 100% increased stamina against Kozlov, so it's good against Kozlov and... Oh, it's a rare Ceratopsian, so it's not amazing, but also it's not too bad. I love my Ceratopsians. There's my, my favorite type of dinosaurs. My favorite dinosaur is, of course, Triceratops, and I love these dinosaurs. They're all cool, and they've got, well, they've got, well, they've all got different crests and horns and spikes and whatever. <laughs> they look really cool. Anyway, let's go to do, well, let's do some Dilophosaurus events. We can show it off because uh, these missions aren't too hard, and... Because, well, we need to show it off. It's our brand new dinosaur. I'm going to swap out Aerotite, and I don't like pterosaurs, of course. Let's get into it. Let's get started. I haven't been playing these missions, these, what do you call it, Dilophosaurus family event missions, just because I've been trying to get Styracosaurus every weekend. I'm going to try and get the weekend dinosaur, the event dinosaur, because they're pretty cool, and obviously it's the only way to get them. Actually, I need to spawn in my Styracosaurus. <laughs> Spawning in St uh, Stegosaurus is not going to help. Show off Styracosaurus. Come on, Styracosaurus. Hopefully he doesn't run out of, st oh, he's run out of stamina before he's even done anything. Okay, we're just going to let Stegosaurus uh, run out of stamina. And then try to use Styracosaurus for the next enemies we get. But yeah, like I was saying, I haven't really been doing the events. Be well, the family events, because I want to get... Damn, he's doing not much damage, but it's cool to see. Obviously, he's not very good against these enemies. He needs to be high level and obviously against Kozlov and not against whatever these guys are. We're getting stunned like crazy. But yeah, like I was saying, I uh, haven't been doing the events. I do need the DNA for Krylophosaurus as that is the next dinosaur. Well, next epic dinosaur I need at rank 2 to go further in the story. So that's the main reason we're focusing on these now. We've unlocked Styracosaurus, that beautiful green little Ceratopsian. <laughs> It's very small. I thought um, Styracosaurus was bigger in real life than, let's say, Triceratops, but maybe it's not. I don't know. I'm not that well researched on every single dinosaur, but yeah, um, it's cool to see. But yeah, like I was saying, I need Crylophosaurus DNA, so now I'm just focusing on the Dilophosaurus event for the next 19 hours because it's going to end tomorrow, and then we're going to get a new event because they only last for three days now, which is really not that long. And to be honest, it's probably a good thing because it's it doesn't get boring having the same event all week. So having the same event is a bit long, and also it gives us, but it, but no, it doesn't give us. It makes it harder for us to focus because what do we want to do? Do we want to do Dinos, uh, Dilophosaurus family, or do we want to do Styracosaurus? I want to do Styracosaurus just to unlock it. But if I wanted more DNA for Dilophosaurus, let's say Crylophosaurus. And I need to complete these missions. And yet, yeah, it's like a back and forth. Like, what do you think is more important? Honestly, at the moment, I don't think 
I mean, Crylophosaurus DNA actually would be more important. <laughs> so that goes against what I say, like what I'm really saying. That would be the most important one just to continue with the story, get better dinosaurs. But I want to collect every dinosaur and quickly and as easily as possible. And currently it's pretty easy to get the event dinosaurs and also I've got everyone so far. I don't want to stop now when I know I can get them. So it looks like we're going to need some more energy. So let's get some more energy. Why not? 40, D 40 DNA is not great, but the game, if the game is out at the end of the week, I'll just buy some more. Or well, not this week. Yeah, well, yeah, this week because today's Monday. Well, it's technically Sunday. I'm recording for Monday. <laughs> Or Monday's video. And, well, I'm super lucky to get Starachosaurus already. I knew I had to record as soon as I got it. Well, as soon as I was getting it. I thought I'd, well, I turned on the camera. Well, not the camera. What do you call it? The recording device. When I was opening that crate. Because I knew if I opened it and didn't get the, and got the dinosaur, I needed it on camera. <laughs> it's much more fun getting these dinosaurs on camera. It looks better, to be honest. And I can make a video out of it. So, yeah, here's the video. So, um, honestly, Starachosaurus is not a dinosaur I'd probably be using for uh, current currently. But it's nice to get it added to the collection, and maybe eventually it'll be useful. But right now, I've got epic dinosaurs, and having epic dinosaurs, and or well, even legendary Stegosaurus, is just too good compared to these uh, rank or rares and commons. They're not useful at all, unless I need them for specific missions. I think that's why I want to unlock them as well, because the event missions for um, new dinosaurs, the event dinosaurs, Sometimes need like a rare dinosaur and sometimes need a common dinosaur and if We don't have that rare dinosaur because we never complete the event missions Then we won't be able to get the dinosaur pretty quickly or easily So I think it's a good idea as well the story can wait the story doesn't go anywhere But these event missions do so I'm pretty much going back and forth on what I'm saying in this whole episode But it's fine. It's fine guys. We're learning as we play There's no harm in um, What's the word? Um, I don't know, arguing with myself, but not really arguing, but arguing with like what's the best thing to do or what's the good idea. Uh, I can't remember. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Debating, that's the word. Debating with myself. But anyway, let's keep going. We've got a Sinosaurus to attack. It's going to spit out poison, so we need to dodge so it doesn't take us out too quickly. I think poison damage actually does a lot to handlers. The Cryolophosaurus mission actually does do a lot which is kind of annoying and very hard but um i've found out a technique of getting that dinosaur subdued pretty quickly and pretty easily so i'm not too worried anymore i'm not too worried at all but anyway there's the second mission we're gonna do one more let's do one more we've got the starachosaurus and then we can open some crates i think we'll have enough for three maybe four if we're lucky or if we're lucky that'll be cool Anyway, let's go straight into the mission, then open some crates, hopefully get that Crylophosaurus DNA. Get, I think we need 70, and I think we're currently on like 20, which isn't too bad. Obviously, it's still a while off. And if we do just the missions, then we're going to get like 5 to 10 DNA a day. 10 if we're lucky, so that means it's going to be like 5 days, but realistically it's going to be over a week. So let's say 7-8 days until we get to the next rank 20 dinosaur. So that'll be the end of, uh, well, that'll be sometime the week after Jurassic World Dominion comes out. And yeah, so <laughs> we just got to keep grinding. That's what this game is. Grindy game, but it's actually fun. I don't think the grind's too bad at the moment. We'll see, especially when new and new improvements and stuff come out. I hope they add like, um, what do you call them? Uh, clans similar to how they are in Jurassic World Alive, where you can swap DNA and stuff. Or donate DNA and all that. I think that'd be pretty cool. Also, be able to have like maybe um, events for actual clans and stuff, like clan events every week, where you'll unlock DNA together or something, stuff like that. Get the community involved a bit. Maybe start my own clan if there was one. I, obviously, this is hypothetical. We don't know if it, what they're doing with this game, but I hope they add a bit so like we can communicate with each other. Well, not even communicate, just like work together. It'd be a bit more fun. At the moment, it feels very isolated. Just complete missions by yourself and all that, and having a what you call it, a community who can work together would be pretty cool in this game. I think it'd be a good idea, especially it would improve the longevity of it. A bit more fun, a bit more to do, I guess. A bit more variety in the game as well. They could do some cool stuff with it. And, but the game's not even out yet. What am I on about? We'll get some cool stuff soon enough, I'm sure. But let's get some crates open. I think we're going to have four or five, actually. 
Got some missions to collect. Hopefully, what is this? 15 and 20? Oh, that's almost two crates just doing that. So I think we're going to be opening five. Yeah, nice. Okay, so let's open them up. We're going to watch the animation for the first one and the last one. But the ones in between, we don't want to watch all the animations. It's the same thing. <laughs> Come on, give me some purple. Oh, no purple, sadly. But that's fine. Let's open another one. Come on, give me something good. Okay. There you go, two DNA for Krylophosaurus, that's what we want to see. That's practically a whole mission. Well, you can do five missions a day, that's one mission if you complete it. And get lucky, and well not get lucky, because two's the lowest. Oh, common DNA. Really? Four DNA out of three chances? So two of them would have gave me one, and the third one gave me two. That's terrible, come on. Damn, we're not getting much DNA from this, are we? I swear this, they're usually good. Okay, so this is the last one. Come on, give me that purple Krylophosaurus DNA or Dilophosaurus. I'd be happy with either. Oh, yeah, there you go. Krylophosaurus. And we've got two. Not so bad. Let's quickly check out how much DNA we actually have for that. Where is it? Krylophosaurus. 38 out of 70. So we're already over halfway. So we're getting that pretty damn soon. Guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you unlock Staracosaurus in the comments. Whether you like Staracosaurus, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.